Good evening. Welcome to the Tenebrae service for Chapel by the Sea and Community Presbyterian Churches. This is an important service as we continue to walk our way through Holy Week, remembering Jesus' journey to Jerusalem, to the cross, to the grave, and to the resurrection. This service, Tenebrae, meaning shadows, is focusing on the shadow moments of Jesus' final days when he is betrayed by friend and enemy, when the aggressions of creation and society grab at his feet and the light dims. We will walk with him through these gathering shadows. And as we read from scripture, each one we will extinguish a light to remind us of the darkness he endured for our sake. You are invited, welcome to light a candle there yourself and extinguish it at the moment that you most feel shadows around you. Join us as we walk with Jesus and worship our Lord. Now the day is over, night is drawing nigh, shadows of the evening steal across the sky. Our first reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Then Jesus said to his disciples, You will all become deserters because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the sheep, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. And Peter said to Jesus, Though everyone else become a deserter because of you, I will never desert you. And Jesus said to Peter, Truly I tell you, this very night, before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And Peter said to him, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And so said all of the disciples. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, when you come into your kingdom. Then Jesus went to them, to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and I pray. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and he began to be grieved and agitated. And then he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and he prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not what I want, but your will be done. And then he came to the disciples and he found them sleeping and he said to Peter, could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into this time of trial. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, he went away for the second time and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again, he came and he found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. 
So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. And then he came to the disciples and he said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See, the hour is at hand and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. While Jesus was in the garden and speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived with him there was a large crowd with swords and clubs. These were from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign saying, The one that I kiss is the man. Arrest him. At once Judas came up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you are here to do. And then they came and laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. Suddenly one of those with Jesus put his hand on his sword and drew it and struck the ear of, one, of the slave of the high priest, cutting it off. Then Jesus said to his disciple, put your sword back in its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Don't you think that I can appeal to my father and he will at once send more than 12 legions of angels? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled which say that it must happen in this way? At that hour Jesus said to the crowds, have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as if I were a thief? Day after day I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But all this is taken place so that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest, in whose house the scribes and the elders had gathered but Peter, who was following him at a distance, as far as the cart courtyard of the high priest, and going inside, he sat with the guards in order to see how this would end. Now the chief priests in the whole council were looking for false testimony against Jesus so that they might put him to death, but they found none. Though many false witnesses came forward, at last two came forward and said, this fellow Jesus, I am able to destroy the temple of God and build it in three days, they had said to them. And the high priest stood up and said, Have you no answer? What is it that they testify against you? But Jesus was silent. And then the high priest said to him, I put you under an oath before the living God. Tell us if you are the Messiah the Son of God. And Jesus said to him, You have said so. But I tell you, from now on you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power of the coming on the clouds of heaven. 
And then the high priest tore his clothes and said, He has blasphemed me. Do you not? He has blasphemed. Why do we still need witnesses? You have now heard his blasphemy. What is your verdict? And they answered, He deserves death. And then they put in his face and they struck him. And some slapped him saying, Prophesy us to us, you Messiah. Who is it that has struck you? Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Now, Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A servant girl came to him and said, you were with that Jesus, the Galilean. But Peter denied it before all of them saying, I do not know what you are talking about. Then, Je then Peter went out to the porch and another servant girl saw him and she said to those around, this man was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again, Peter denied it with an oath, I do not know the man. After a little while, those gathered came up and said to Peter, Certainly you are also one of them, for your accent gives you away. Then Peter began to curse, and he swore an oath, I do not know the man. At that moment, the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said, Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And Peter went out, and he wept bitterly. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus in order to bring about his death. They bound him and they led him away and they handed him over to Pilate, the governor. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Now, Jesus stood before the governor. And the governor asked him, Are you king of the Jews? And Jesus said, You say so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he did not answer. <clears throat> then Pilate said to Jesus, Do you not hear how many accusations they make against you? But Jesus gave him no answer, not even to a single charge. So the governor was astounded. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom.
Now at the festival, the governor, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wanted. And at that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Jesus Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, whom do you want me to release for you? Jesus Barabbas or Jesus who is called the Messiah? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. And while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, having nothing to do with the innocent man for today, I have suffered a great deal because of a dream about him. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus killed. The governor again said to them, which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. And Pilate said to them, then what should I do with Jesus who is called the Messiah? And all of them said, let him be crucified. And then he asked, why, what evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, let him be crucified, let him be crucified, let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he could do nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took some water and washed his hands before the crowd saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. And then the people as a whole answered, his blood is on our hands and our children. So he released Barabbas for them. And after flogging Jesus, he handed Jesus over to be crucified. Jesus, remember when you come into your kingdom Jesus remember me when you come into your kingdom Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters and they gathered the whole cohort around him they stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. And after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat on him and they took the reed and they struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom Jesus remember me when you come into your kingdom and as they went out they came upon a man from Cyrene named Simon they compelled this man to carry his cross and when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they offered him wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. And then they sat down there and they kept watch over him. Over his head, they put the charge against him, which read, this is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. 
Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Then two thieves were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by him derided him, shaking their heads and saying, you who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the son of God, come down from that cross. In the same way, the chief priests also, along with the scribes and the elders, were mocking him, saying, he saved others, he can't save himself. He is king of Israel, let him come down from that cross now, and then we will believe in him. He trusts God, let God deliver him, if he wants to. For this guy said, I am God's son. The thieves who were crucified with him also taunted him in the same way. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the morning. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama samachthani. That is, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, this man is calling for Elijah. At once one of them ran and got a sponge and filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick and gave it to Jesus to drink. But the others said, wait, let's see whether Elijah will come to save him. And then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? shook and the rocks were split. Now, when the centurion who was guarding him, the ones who were keeping watch over Jesus, when they saw the earthquake and what took place, they were terrified and said, truly, 
This man is the Son of God. Day is done, but love unfailing dwells ever here. Oh, 